Understanding Soft Error in English Hello, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to delve into a term that can be quite intriguing when you first come across it, soft error. This phrase might not be as straightforward as others, so we'll break it down together. By the end of this video, you'll understand what a soft error is and how to use it in your everyday English. So, let's get started. The term soft error doesn't refer to a mistake that's gentle or easygoing, as the word soft might suggest. Instead, it's a technical term that originates from the world of computers and electronics. A soft error happens when a computer's data changes because of external factors like cosmic rays or radiation, but the computer hardware isn't damaged. It's a temporary malfunction that often corrects itself. While soft error is a technical term, it has been borrowed in everyday language to describe a situation or mistake that is not permanent or damaging in the long term. Think of it as a non-critical mistake that can be fixed or ignored without significant consequences. For example, if you're learning English and you accidentally use the wrong preposition in a sentence, it could be considered a soft error. It's a mistake, yes, but it's easily corrected, and it doesn't stop someone from understanding you. When using the phrase soft error, it's important to note the context. If you're in a technical environment, people will assume you're talking about a computer error. However, in a casual conversation, the meaning can shift to any minor and fixable error. Context is key. And this is true for many English phrases that have multiple meanings depending on where and how they are used. Let's see soft error in action with some examples. 1. In a technical setting, we lost some data due to a soft error after the power surge, but the system is back online now. 2. In everyday English, I made a soft error in my report by misspelling the client's name but I've corrected it before the final submission. These sentences show how versatile the term can be. I hope this video has shed light on the meaning and usage of the phrase soft error. It's a fascinating example of how technical jargon can cross over into our daily conversations, enriching the language with more precise ways to describe the world around us. Remember, making errors is a natural part of learning, and as we saw today, not all errors are created equal. Some are definitely softer than others. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.